Hey there, I uh, got another student today. What are we doing? Putting some accessories on my Ducati. Right, we're gonna show how to do this the safe way. Let's take a look at the motorcycle. So we've got a 2013? Yep. Yep, coolest ant in the world here. It's been letting me borrow this and I was telling her about the cool things we can do this to make it a little safer, a little more convenient for some uh, longer riding. So what we're gonna do today is gonna show you a couple different accessories here. We've got a uh, uh, water bottle holder and then a accessory outlet for GPS not cell phone GPS Aunt Kim, let's just start by getting the seats off all right next as we just take a look in here One of the first things I saw is I'm not crazy about this battery cable it's negative battery cable There's no washer under that you can kind of see here. I'll zoom in that There were by you know just every standard practice there should be a washer under there and this whole guy, I'm not crazy about enough vibration that will probably come loose. Over here on the positive, we have the ringlet of the other positive cable here. And it's, you can see here, that baby's not moving around. Okay, so we're having a little bit of a problem we need to fix there. Where we're going to put this little, uh... so if you guys haven't seen these, these quick uh, ram mounts, I've had these for years on, on boats and four-wheelers and whatnot. They've got this quick design with rubber padding already on it. This thing is pretty dang cool. So we're going to go ahead and let's clamp that right there. So one thing I want to show on this is you want to hold the phone and open it. Go ahead and do so. Hold the phone and open it and lay it flat and then let go of it. If you don't do that, you lose the support on the back and it can vibrate. Okay, so you want to lay that flat. This does have a cool little thing with these rubber straps. I have not had a need for it, you know, where they go over the corners like this. I've never had one of these, you know, bounce around or have any issues. The thing we got to think about is we're starting to, to potentially block our gauges. And that is definitely a risk of doing these accessories. Is, is there any information on here you need? You know uh, that's gonna bother you turn signal indicators really try not to to block those speedometer of course um, any of the idiot lights or anything they seem to be pretty good over here but I want you guys to be thinking about what are you potentially covering up from where you sit on the bike and your angle so we can look now at the real estate we have left here to be able to install our actual power adapter this one would be pretty cool to be able to mount on this side because it's closer to the phone you could wrap the cord up really nice um, these are cool it's got usb or your 12 uh your 12 volt common accessory plug let me show you the bottom of this really cool it just has a slide clamp that's going to slide in place okay now you sh i hope you could hear it click in the video there so what you want to do is hold that firm and you're going to try and pull on that make sure it's not just going to come falling out of there so we're good testing our work all right let's go ahead and clamp around the handlebar you just got a thumb screw to take off and let's take off one of those pieces of rubber there notice here on these these rubbers they're lipped so that they cradle the the plastic uh, wrap around piece okay so that you get right in the middle when you're putting that on these want to slide off to the side and as you clamp it down you lose the benefit of that so make sure you hold those in place in the middle of that uh, wrap around bar try and position this into some type of fashion that's you know easy for us to access and plug our cords in let's do what we always do let's do a sweep of the handlebar since we put something on there okay we're clear all the way all the way to the stop really super important because we're you know you're just gonna be looking sometimes from the angle you're at and not focused on what might hit so that's that's fantastic I really like this setup so far all right so now we're gonna move forward to the actual wiring of it all right one thing I'm gonna recommend for you take the fast nut. what you want to do is I want you to think about this one two three four five uh, I think there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten fasteners. If you're if you're not real familiar with this bike and you're not working on it all the time, there is a really good chance you might forget what goes where. And I want you to notice here, you know, this one is silver and underneath the underneath the seat where you're not going to see it. And these are black and they might be different lengths. So before you start taking anything apart, what I want you to do is take your little phone and you're going to take a photo of what everything looked like before you took it apart so you have that as a reference. Does that make sense? 
Awesome. And then you just aren't going to get yourself into a lot of trouble and have to think so hard. And it's really a uh, a sore spot for a lot of dealers when we, uh, you know, take this body work off and too short of bolts in one spot and too long of bolts in another. So that's a good way to stay collected and, uh, and organized. Let's go ahead and remove that body work. Here's a little tip for you. I don't know if you saw, we're getting pretty close with the Allen wrench. When you're doing stuff like this, if you're concerned that you might scratch something, put some protective tape down just as an extra, you know, support right there. So that's my tip for that. All right, we're going to go ahead and start to wire this. We got this panel removed enough to where I think we could snake the wire around. So go ahead, and I want you to notice something in this accessory. There is a fuse in here. I would go ahead right now and practice opening and closing that and making sure the fuse is in there. No, no. Now, listen to me on this. Pay attention. What we're going to do is, before we run this wire all the way through here and have all the work of it, we don't know if that fuse is good in there. The, the box does come with an extra fuse, okay, which is pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead and test and, and make sure that our accessory actually works before we spend all this time buttoning this up. So we're just going to take and take our red to positive, black to negative, real simple. You don't even got to bolt them on. Uh, she, Aunt Kim here is just going to hold them in place, and we're going to prove that the accessory works. So go ahead and do that now. She's touching down there, and you can see the accessory turned on. Life is good, and now it's worth going ahead and doing the finish work. Now what we want to think about is how do we want to route it? I would say that we'd go around this handlebar riser so that it does have the chance every time you're rotating the handlebars that it's going to chafe or scuff. So we're going to want to route it around there. I'm thinking we should go around both the risers. Then we're going to start to aim down this direction. So do that. Notice she's just using real light, 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 you know, pressure, if you will, on that panel. We're not moving it a mile. Okay, we're just moving it a minimal amount. Okay, in my opinion, it's a common mistake that's made. Go ahead and lay these like that. Don't lay them down. 3H drive, quarter inch drive. When you're dealing with small fasteners like this, quarter inch. This stuff is what breaks battery bolts, causes problems, because you can get way too much leverage. You can see here, this is going to allow way too much leverage on that small fastener, and that's what breaks stuff. So use your quarter-inch drive when dealing with the small fasteners, especially battery terminals. We're going to route this this way. Underneath here, we got to remember we have a seat above here that could make contact with those wires. We're doing everything we can to avoid it. We're just going to slide our fork in. We've got it cracked loose. Now, I want you to see what's going to happen. As we tighten this, this is going to... Hold on. As we tighten this... This is going to move with this faster, and we want to land right here because we've already taken a look at that's what's going to be in the correct tight position. If I start right here, it's going to, I'm going to have to hold it or bend it. These are pretty fragile, and I'm going to end up uh, binding it. So go ahead and watch as she tightens it. It's going to land right where it should. Boom. Check your cables. Make sure nothing's loose there. We're good there. Now go ahead and repeat the process on the negative. And now this is going to help us with that missing washer that we talked about earlier. Just lightly crack it loose. Okay. There's something else about this fork, too. There's there's a what you would call the, the bottom and the top of it. You can see where it's built up right here. And that would be the top. If I put it this way, when I fork it in, it's going to force that to kick up and create an extra lip. So I'm going to go ahead here and just try and see if I can't wiggle that in place. I think we're good. Now, before I do anything, I'm, I'm still a little concerned about this wire, just wishing it was a hair longer. Now I need to grab the seat. And what I'm going to do is i got to figure out here, hold, come over here, we might have to just move the bike again. I'm going to have, I'm gonna have Aunt Kim hold the seat up here. So what we have to be concerned about is we want to look at the seat. Ready? We want to look at the seat and find all the landing pads. What that means is where the seat is going to rest on the motorcycle. You can see the witness mark of the imprint of something right here and we got these two pads. So now as we go and we look at the motorcycle, 
we could find those matching witness marks. We're not affecting that, but oh, tell me that wouldn't be a problem. That is exactly where the seat needs to be. So we need to make sure and tuck this off to the side here that there's not going to be a problem. And we don't know if we have clearance, you know, underneath the seat right here. That's what we're looking for is to see, are we going to pinch this? If this isn't going to work and we have to extend this wires, then, it, then so be it. That's what we have to do. We're going to go ahead and try this and put the seat on now. Okay, now what I want you to seriously kind of do is just bounce up and down a little bit. Go ahead and put the bike. You want to pull it up off its kickstand. In actual operation, you guys could see here, we're going to need to wrap this cord around so that it's not dangling in here having any, you know, any effects in riding as well. So keep that in mind. But here's the whole purpose of this. You're bounced up and down. We're going to take the seats back off. And if there's a problem with the added weight of the rider pinching that wire, it will show its witness mark. And then you can see here that our accessory here is still working fine. So we have no issues. It didn't shut off, but we're going to check our work one last time and then we'll be done. All right, Aunt Kim. Where's that T? <laughs> we are, uh, we're sweating it up here. We're down here in Alabama, like I said, and it is hot. And so now I say that I take my student here and uh, we're going to do a little toast to some sweet tea, go out and ride these motorcycles. And if uh, you're looking to accessorize your bike, that's a good way to uh, put a couple safe accessories on there. I'm going to make another real quick little video on my thought of the day about cell phone usage on motorcycles and whatnot. But for now, we're out. Keep wrenching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Awesome. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.